Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Land of Legends Raceway. We might be getting a little bit of raindrops right now, but I can tell you there's a whole crew here, and there's a whole lot of smiles on their faces, and for very good reason. Tonight, for the fourth time in 2023 and the 20th time in history here at the Wall of Fame, we're putting a new driver up on the Wall of Fame tonight. Without further ado, I want to call up a driver who has a record that I'm not sure will ever be broken here at the Land of Legends. He's won in Modifieds, he's won in Sportsman, he's won in Sprint Cars, he's won in Full Fenders, he's won in a Micro Sprint, he won a figure eight race. If they threw the green flag here, he won here. Ladies and gentlemen, the motorized madman, Daryl Ruggles. This is a big night, my friend. Uh, I know one that uh, is well-deserved, and uh, I know it's been a, a big week with friends and family getting ready for this one. Yeah. Oh. Thank we said we'd get this out of the way early, right? Yeah. Thank you, guys. It uh, means a lot. Thank Paul and everybody that you know puts this deal on. We've worked hard for it. Let's go back to the beginning. What got you into racing? You got the nickname the Motorized Man Man, but what got it all started for you? Uh, go-karts. In the backfield, Skip and Deb bought go-karts, and I beat the hell out of them things until they ran out of gas or I couldn't figure out how to start them. And uh, they just called me Madman or something. And, and then it just got into the Motorized Mad Man. And then when I was 14, I started doing body work on Skip's car. And... Uh, my brother Dana was racing, my brother Gary was racing, and we came here. But when I was little, I started the, the asphalt deal. We went there last night to try to remember what it was all about. It was pretty cool, but it's not dirt. Um, Canadag was home. And what was it about Canadagua that made it home? Was it just because it was so close to home? Uh, what was it about this place that was just so special to you over the years? I mean, when you're first starting out, you can't afford to travel. So me and Wendy... Uh, this is where we were able to come. We, we were able to come to Canadagua and close to home. You know, all family was here. Uh, quite a few sponsors through the years. You know, and this is where we had to, you know, we, we were able to race. You don't afford it. We've done very well with it. And uh, I just love this place. Ran here in full fenders, sportsmen, modifieds, got wins in all those. But then you took a step, I'm not going to say a step back, you took a step in a different direction, got to race with your daughter Alicia, and that kind of set a path forward that would see you win a whole lot of checkered flags here at Canadagua. Well, go back a little bit. I figured that I couldn't, uh, you know, we, the big block deal we quit, you know, when we, we stopped, and it just got too expensive for uh, me and Wendy to try to raise it up to family and stuff, so... I went a stupid direction and went motocross racing until I broke my leg. But uh, Alicia was racing motocross, and I was racing motocross until I broke my leg in a few places. And I says, we got to get back into a, a cage car. And that's when we headed towards uh, micro sprints. And um, we did very well there. Um, and we did well because we, had, uh, we sold all our big block stuff, so me and Wendy had a little envelope set aside. So we did very well. We were able to buy good equipment, and, you know, we... We did very, very good there, and we ran here. We ran all around the states, you know, and uh, just great experience. And then just watching her develop, and we couldn't go any farther with that deal. We we pretty much both won a bunch of championships. We won a bunch of races, and uh, Mike Emhoff, he uh, conned me into doing this stuff. I heard about a, uh, a trip out to uh, Nebraska, it was, I think. I asked Mike, I go, so what's out there for cars? I got I got some money. I don't have a lot, but I got some money. He says, I got a guy out in Nebraska that's got two rollers. They're brand new that have never been used. They're up in his trailer. They're covered with dust. I made a phone call. The guy says, come to, uh, it was Nebraska. And uh, me and Jeff, we took off with the truck and trailer and headed to Nebraska. And I think the car that Gibbs was running tonight is still one of those cars. Um <laughs> It was. It's been a long. It's been a long road. Uh, it's been really cool. Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of great races, great finishes, a lot of wins. Uh, a CRSA points title in 2020, which was an abbreviated schedule, but um, you know, still ended up on top of the points there. What uh, is there any accomplishments uh, of you or Alicia's that kind of sticks at the top of the list for you over the years? Not really. Um, 
they're all special. Those guys tonight, there's five of them that are uh, challenging for the lead, for the championship. You know, they got to lay it on the line. They got to do what I did. Yeah. Absolutely. You did it seven times in the 305 here. Um, you know, I, I asked this to, to Vic Coffey last weekend. When fans come into the gates, they walk by the Wall of Fame, they see Daryl Ruggles on the wall. What is it that is that lasting memory that you want fans to, to think of Daryl Ruggles when they pass by the Wall of Fame? My wife says never give up because this year I wanted to quit. Um, but we're still going. I'm going next year. I don't know, just the motorized madman, the guy that just gave it everything he had. Um, we spent every single thing that we had to do it. And right now we're doing really good. Yeah. Uh, I know that there's a, a lengthy list, but if there's anybody that you want to mention tonight, this is a real big deal. And, and Danny's given us a little weather that we got some time to play with here tonight. Yeah, Danny, we, we miss Danny tremendously. Uh, you know, my brother-in-law, Skip, you know, he's the one that got me started in this deal. They gave me the opportunity to build my first car. I never thought that I would end up here, but I know Brian's been with me every step of the way the last few years, and he's hiding back there. Mike, Mike Maston, he's, uh, he's given me the power to conquer this place day in and day out. Um, he was there through the sportsman days. We won, I don't even know how many races and championships with the sportsman. He was there in my big block days. Uh, I used to tell him I'm bringing him chicken poop to make chicken soup because I couldn't afford the big motors. And uh, he made a run, um, and we got some wins. We had some good finishes. We did very well with the big block stuff. Uh, we even won a, a qualifying race at Syracuse. That was a pretty big highlight. Um, rolling wheels, that was a great place, but you still have to have good motors, and Mike, Mike made it happen. And so... We quit for quite a while with the micro sprint stuff, and me and Mike kind of fell apart and didn't see each other. And I called him up and I go, Me and my daughter going back 305 racing, do you want to help me with a motor? And his first instinct was no. I showed up with his door with a bunch of brand new parts, and he's still there with me today. Thank you, Mike. Um, I, I do know that uh, that Bree's watching watching from afar tonight, but she's tuned in watching. I know you wanted to mention her and all the family that's been a part. Hi, Bree. Love you. Um, and then Sean and Lynn, where we were last week, just so we weren't in the mix of this points title because we were, we were close in the points title. And I told her, I said, I'm not chasing points this year. So we went on vacation. We were getting close again. We went on another vacation. And last week we went on another one. Just... I've, I've never done what I've done this year. Had a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, me and Wendy have done stuff that we've never had a chance to do because you put everything you got to be here and be competitive every week like everybody else. Absolutely. Speaking of Wendy, why don't we bring Wendy over and have you guys pull down uh, to reveal your plaque here. What do you say, Wendy? And I got to, I mean, I, I need help to get my daughter back in the car. <laughs> Last night we went to the racetrack, Spencer Speedway. She got offered a ride on asphalt. She didn't turn that down. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> All right, folks. How about a nice hand as we reveal the plaque here for Daryl Ruggles onto the Wall of Fame? Uh, the plaque here says, among the most versatile racers ever to circle the Ontario County Oval, this local fairgrounds lifer traded in his open wheel and full fender fortunes to ultimately find success during a winning machine to a record 47 A main victories and seven track point championships, forever solidifying his speedway legacy in Canandaigua. The fun part about doing these Wall of Fames with a driver that's still active is uh, somewhere along the way, so I know somebody's going to come up and wipe these out when those numbers go up. So, Because uh, I, know, I know there's no quit in the motorized madman. Every, every time he gets into a, a competition, I'm sure if it's a foot race with Logan, he still would, want, would do everything he could to make sure Logan didn't beat him. And, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the competition burns real deep in, inside of Mr. Ruggles. And uh, that, I think generations, not just a generation, but generations of uh, fans here at Canandaigua have benefited by the uh, shows you put on, whether it be in a big block, a sprint car, a figure eight car, uh, 
you know, and again, even even in a pedal car, I'm sure uh, it's it's all about putting on a, a great show, and and uh, that's something you put on every week, and we look forward to doing that a little more this the, tonight and uh, this, this year. So congratulations and welcome to the Wall of Fame. Thank you, Paul. Um, just this is a huge honor that you've done for 20 people so far. I mean, I know it's not the Hall of Fame at the Dirt Hall of Fame, but this is where leg- legends are made at Canandaigua. Thank you. I told him I'd just hand him the microphone. As Daryl Ruggles, they're going to take photos here. We've got a passing uh, sprinkle shower here that's uh, working its way through. We do have big clearing on the other end of this, so we're confident we are going to get tonight's program in. But we're going to let uh, Daryl and his crew and family celebrate here. I'm going to bring Marty Zakala in. Yeah. Come here. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, Mike, you get a nice shot of that. So this is a special thanks to all of their many sponsors, crew members, family, friends, and fans, past and present, that have helped us make it to where we are today. It's with great privilege that we can share this honor with all of you. That's perfect. Great. Uh, that, that's a perfect graphic, man. Congratulations. I can't speak all those words, but we can. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right. So, Marty Zakala, let me bring you in here um, as uh, we'll let them take some, uh, they'll let them take some pictures with uh, all the crew and family. Championship night tonight for the sportsmen, the 305 sprints, the street stocks, and the hobby stocks. And we've got some close points. The street stocks are locked up, but all of their divisions, it's wide open tonight. Absolutely. And the one that I'm watching very closely here is the hobby stocks. That is pretty much neck and tooth between Mark Manulo as well as Bubba Burnell. For Mr. Smooth, second or better, he locks it up. If Bubba takes the win, Manulo needs to finish second. The title is his. But let's not count out Danny Carrick in the question. If those top two in points have issues, watch out for the Bulldog and play. In the 305 sprints, there was upwards of seven cars that could do it. It's double points night. But, um, you know, Jordan Hutton trying to take care of business. He's already leading CRSA points, trying to uh, take uh, take care of things here at Canandaigua. Absolutely. And, you know, after the issue he had last week on the final lap, uh, able to finish in the able to finish in the back, I should say, and so that closing the points gap a little bit for Lane in the 14. However, though, with this handicap...